Hi everybody and welcome to this new section, section number 6, which is styling your YouTube to MP3 downloader user interface. In this section we will complete the development of our YouTube to MP3 downloader, which we started in our previous section, and also we will create a nice user interface for the users to interact so let's start right away with the first video. So the first video is downloading and converting from YouTube. And what we're gonna do in this video is actually create the functions that are needed for us to develop in a way that we can download and convert videos from YouTube into MP3. So let's dive right into my source editor or code editor. So I have the app already running and it's looking good I mean, we have some things on the React side, but nothing is actually working because our business logic on the Electron side is not developed yet. So what we are gonna do is first of all, explore some of the packages that we are using in this application for downloading and converting MP3s. So I'm gonna go into my browser and the first package, which is super important, is YouTube DL Core. And you can find it on NPM and we will download and install this package. And basically this package enables us to download videos from YouTube while giving just the URL of the video. So that's the first step. We download the video as a video file, right, from YouTube. And then the other package will be Fluent FFmpeg. This package is just like a wrapper for the JavaScript to the FFmpeg library, which enables us to do all kinds of transformations between video and audio files. And this is the package that will help us convert our video into an MP3. And the last package is sanitize file name. And this package will be used to just get the name right of the video, because sometimes we can have special characters in the video and we'll mess up with our file system. So we just make sure to have a really nice and clean name or title for each video before downloading it or saving it to the file system. So let me go back to the code editor. And now we are going to explore into index.js all the things that are needed for this application to be downloading things. So first of all, I'm going to delete those two lines right here and use the same event, but with another name, which will be video column URL. So we are basically just going to do a couple of things. First, let me write it down and then we will explain everything step by step. I'm going to first try to do something. And if it fails, I'm going to catch the error and send it back. So main window dot web content send. We will have our event. Let's just send back an object with a message and the message will be our error. Okay, this is good. Now let's go back to the try part. What are we doing here? Well, here we want to download and convert a video. So the first thing to do is actually get information from the, that video. This function right here returns a promise, so we're gonna use the keyword await, and of course the function must be a sync to wait for it to come back. And these are the informations from this video. And we're gonna send those back to our front end by doing... Here the object will be the things that we want to send to our front end. And first of all, we have the title. So that's all. We are sending the title, the length in seconds, and the thumbnail URL. And now let's start with the downloading part. So we are going to create a video stream. And basically the UTDL library, which downloads a video from YouTube, the thing that it returns is a stream, a writable stream. And this means that all the packages or pieces of our video are coming back into this string and uh, step by step it will be downloading into this constant. It's not like a right away process, it's a stream. So we have to wait some time. So another thing that we can pass are the options. And the options, first of all, we will say that the quality, highest audio, of course, you can check everything out in the documentation. 
and also the filter will be audio only because we are only interested in the in the actual audio as we are going to later convert it into an mp3 so now let's suppose that into this video stream we are going to get our video what we need to do is to also convert this video into an mp3 and we're going to use ffmpeg for this and into ffmpeg we can pass a writable string so we will just pass our video stream and then we have some options the first one is to set where the binaries are located for ffmpeg and we will do that later but for now just let's say that they are called ffmpeg path and then specify the audio bitrate and then on progress we will just send back our event for enabling the user to show the progress of the conversion and downloading video progress so on progress we're doing that I forgot to add a dot and lastly on end of course send an event to the user saying that video end and the last thing is to save this mp3 and here we have to put the name and to the name actually the path where we want to save our mp3 and first of all we will have our folder path which comes from settings that we're gonna set later so don't worry about it now and also we're gonna sanitize our file name which comes from info and also add the extension mp3 so this is all about the saving and now this event right here the video URL is ready to be working and we will go back to the next video and continue writing the logic